How in the world are you going to get charged with multiple felonies in your sleep? Watch this video to figure out how. What's up y'all, Pat here. I was in the middle of putting together another custom lever gun. I need another one like I need a hole in my head, said nobody. But of course, while I was in the middle of this, I decided to take a little break and I came across one of the most lame gun stories ever. This fella decides that he wanted to shoot himself in the leg, dreaming that he was being home invaded. I just shot myself. I know I have had to pinch myself and go outside and actually look and see if there is a blue Corvette in my driveway. I have had dreams that were that vivid and that real. But let's look at this fella shooting himself in the leg during his own dreamed up home invasion. Illinois man charged after accidentally shooting himself in sleep during nightmare. Lake County, Illinois, Mark DeCara, a semi-retired attorney from Illinois, is facing legal consequences after a harrowing incident in which he accidentally shot himself while dreaming he was being robbed. The incident unfolded early Monday morning and has since prompted charges related to firearms possession and reckless discharge. So this fella has gotten himself into just a little bit of heat by recklessly discharging this firearm in his home. Dakara, who had been licensed to practice law in both Illinois and Wisconsin, experienced a distressing dream in which he believed his home was under attack. In his panic, he reached for his 357 Magnum revolver and discharged the weapon into what he thought was the intruder. The shot, however, struck him in the leg and caused significant blood loss, leading to his hospitalization. Authorities responded to the scene after receiving a call about a shooting. Upon arrival, deputies found Dakara bleeding profusely. They applied a tourniquet to control the bleeding before transporting him to a local hospital for further treatment. Miraculously, the bullet that passed through Dakara's leg ended up lodging itself in the bedding and no other individuals were harmed. The subsequent investigation revealed that no home invasion had occurred. The shooting, as it turned out, was purely accidental and directly linked to Dakara's nightmarish state. So I can't help but wonder if there isn't some type of medication that he was on for sleeping. I know I had one neighbor that was on some type of medication for sleeping, and if he didn't actually sleep, then he would be out laying in the road or something ridiculous just in this mind-altered state. I'm not saying that the car was in that state, but you always kind of think about medications and things like that. That always comes to my mind when I hear stories like this. So now I have some thoughts about discharging a 357 Magnum in his situation. Now he was inside the home and he was guaranteed not to have been able to put any hearing protection in or on real quickly. And I have first hand knowledge of firing a 357 Magnum without hearing protection and oh my gosh, it is the driest noise ever. That's the only way I can explain it. Your eardrums just bottom out and it's just so, such a dry percussion. It's really bad. Well, the reason that I know this is I lived rurally and in my little neighborhood, I guess you would call it, we had a dog that was roaming around and it had actually mauled the neighbor lady. It tore her leg up really badly. She had to have stitches and all sorts of stuff. And then, you know, basically we were all just trying to get this dog. Nobody could get the dog. We had kids and all sorts of elderly people and stuff like that, you know, this dog really needed to be removed from the neighborhood. Well, anyway, one morning I was going out to work and I heard grrrr right there on my front porch. I stepped inside, grabbed that 357 and I just went ahead and took care of what needed to be taken care of. But of course, I didn't think to put ears on and that is where my first hand knowledge of 357 sucking hearing protection wise comes from. And a huge shout out to Wooks for sponsoring today's video. You can see this killer, killer furniture right here. You can go check them out at the link below. Code Pat RMG saves you 10%. The real trouble began when law enforcement discovered that Dakara was in possession of a firearm without a valid firearm owner's identification card. Void cards are a big thing in the communist state of Illinois. Although Dakara had previously held a FOID card, it had been revoked, though officials have not yet confirmed the reasons or timing of its revocation. 
As a result, Dakara faces charges for possession of a firearm without a valid FOID card, as well as reckless discharge of a firearm. The Lake County State Attorney's Office is moving forward with the prosecution, and Dakara has appeared in court after posting a $150,000 bond. Deputy Chief Christopher Cavelli of the Lake County Sheriff's Office commented on the unusual nature of the case. We've investigated accidental or negligent shootings. However, this is the first that we can recall where someone fired a gun because of a dream they were having. The incident has raised questions about firearm safety and the importance of securing weapons, especially in situations where the owner might be in a vulnerable state such as sleep. Dakara now facing legal repercussions for his lapse in firearms ownership compliance will likely reconsider his handling of firearms in the future. The case serves as a stark reminder to the potential dangers associated with firearms and the critical importance of adhering to firearms regulations to prevent accidents and ensure safety. So basically this fella got in trouble for having a firearm because he lives in the great state of Illinois and just did not have his FOID card. If he lived in good old America, Tennessee, just like me, we wouldn't have to have a FOID card. And basically, he would have just been an idiot that shot himself in the leg. So, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this weird gun story. Shooting yourself in your sleep is definitely qualifying as weird. I'm going to try the, this new platform and see how it works. We're going to do our gun fails, gun reviews, and then maybe some weird gun stories, depending on how you guys react to this. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love you, and I don't love FOID cards.